what's up guys i am back with another video and today we're going to be checking out those prop they are actually branded at foxy props but they are made by dal props and those are the five inch donuts 51.45 and what make those props special i think i got this one open already is that those are torado props and if you know anything about Torito Pops, I mean, they became very popular about maybe a month ago. Uh, those were pop that were designed by MIT students. Uh, they got a bunch of trophy and they win some competition. And uh, the main advantage of those pop compared to our regular pop is that those are supposed to be less noisy, supposed to make less noise. And they're also supposed to be a little more efficient. Now, actually, I posted a video about one of those. I've been working on them. You know, a lot of people in the community have come up with their own design of the Torado Pops. But I pretty much stopped using them because, I mean, you had, you had to print them out of your own 3D prints. I tried different material. Uh, I mean, they flew okay. But one of the biggest negatives I had with all the prop I uh, printed was that they were very fragile. I tried with PETG. I tried with PLA. I even tried with the PETG carbon and the big issue was that they were just very fragile and they were pretty hard to print, uh, kind of time consuming. But uh, finally, Foxy with Dial Prop I came up with a design of this prop. Uh, we're gonna give, put it on one of my five inch and we're gonna go to some realistic testing and see how good they are, see if you're actually getting and Chris Flatam and see if they can actually work as a freestyle prop. And by the way, before we start our testing, they do come in two different colors. And this is the black one, and of course, teal, which work pretty good because I'm gonna be using it on my Darwing 5 inch drone, which also have teal blade or props. So, let's take off. This is what the drone look like. And just want to get a picture before I crash or do something stupid. And also, we have enough time to get at least one battery because the sun is playing hide and seek today. So, let um, and hopefully, I don't have my props in reverse. Now, first opinion, I have to say, no house noisy. Still making some noise, but it's just the characteristic of the noise. It's not as loud as a regular three-bladed prop. But I can't definitely definitively tell that the drone is not as quick or responsive yeah it's a little sluggish and that's pretty much what i found out with my first test when i did with my with the 3d printed one it is just not as responsive. I'm pretty used to this drone. But it's like you have to take that into consideration when you're flying, like most of the moves you do. I would say you can freestyle, you can freestyle it, but as far as I've been less noise, I don't, I'm not going to say it does not make, I'm not going to say it's quieter than a regular prop actually. 
it's making as much noise as a regular pop, but so the main difference is the characteristic of the noise. It is not as high pitch noise, it's more like a bass noise. I don't know if you can hear in the background, all the dog, all the dog are starting to bark already. So that's what let me know. We are kind of still as noisy as we were with the. regular pop it just that Woo. yeah I'm playing analog <laughs> yeah it's noise was it's just a different kind of noise and not as responsive as a regular 3D blade. That's kind of expected. But I would say that's do pretty good because I didn't really see any pop wash. Yeah, I didn't get any pop wash so far. So on that we say it is good. I didn't change any of my feet. And the GoPro, I have upper flow, uh, upper smooth, or whatever, off. So I'm not seeing any vibration or anything funny on my FPV feet. I mean, you guys will see on a GoPro if it is exactly the same. I have upper smooth off on a GoPro so if it's causing any kind of vibration we should see on a GoPro as far as flat time just going hard as I'm going I would say flat time is about the same I'm not seeing any improvement in flat time I've flown for about four minutes and my battery is at 5.5 uh, so as far as durability as I would say it's definitely gonna be more durable than any of the 3d printed pop up printed I know what kind of material they're using uh, they seem to be very similar to material we use on a regular pops uh, I say maybe slightly a little more flexible but yet I'm at 3.49 and I just flew the way I usually fly and with my three bladed pops I get about the same flat time I'm out now a little less because I'm about to eat six minutes so let me land and this is an option if you like to try it Ooh, killing my battery I would say best try best thing you can try this one is maybe on a long range five inch drone but as far as performance go i would say our regular pop are still much better thanks for watching guys and i will see you on the next one